Well, good morning and welcome back. In Galatians 5 verse 7, it says, You were running a good race. Who stopped you from following the true way? We must take responsibility. In the Garden of Eden, when God asked Adam why he'd eaten from the tree, he replied, It was the woman you gave me who gave me the fruit, and I ate it. See, Adam tried to shift responsibility for his actions onto Eve, and at the same time to blame God. Then the Lord God asked the woman, What have you done? The serpent deceived me, she replied. Eve blamed the devil, but God didn't accept their excuses. He said to Eve, I will sharpen the pain of your pregnancy, and in pain you will give birth, and you will desire to control your husband, but he will rule over you. Then God said to Adam, Since you listened to your wife and ate from the tree whose fruit I commanded you not to eat, the ground is cursed because of you. All your life you will struggle to scratch a living from it. It will grow thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. And then God banished them from paradise. You see, God was angry with Adam and Eve because they wouldn't take responsibility for their actions. And when we sin, God will readily forgive us. Uh, just take a look at Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 17. And he doesn't stop caring for us. Genesis 3, verse 21 tells us that even after being angry and punishing Adam and Eve, he made clothing for them. But God won't accept us trying to justify, blame others or make excuses for our mistakes. Proverbs 28 verse 13 says, Whoever conceals their sins does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. So why don't you, on today's walk or in today's conversation with your friend, talk about any times you can think of when you fail to take responsibility for your actions, even if it was only over something really small. And then together, confess them to God and ask him to help you take responsibility in the future. Let's pray. This week's special prayer. God, our judge and saviour, teach us to be open to your truth and to trust in your love that we may live each day with confidence in the salvation which is given through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And a final blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you his peace. Amen. <laughs>